Now, as we look at our lower appendicular here, starting at the femur, this is going to be our head. And so when we look at this, this head will look for the socket called the acetabellum of the pubic girdle sorry, pelvic girdle. And as we progress further distally down to the toes, here we can see we have our neck underneath the head, so the head and neck. Then you have this bump here called the greater trochanter, and then you have the lesser trochanter. And those should always be facing posterior, meaning that this is the correct orientation. The great, greater trochanter and lesser trochanter should be posterior. Greater and lesser trochanter. And down here, we have our next bone marking called the linea aspera. You can see it here. This is where my thumb is tracing this line. And then it leads to two other lines that go to the edges of the bottom end of this bone, or the distal end. But fundamentally, this is going to be your linea aspera, the, the line that you're seeing on the bone there, right there. Sorry, this hand is really <laughs> getting in the way of my video. But otherwise, let's keep going. So if this is our linea aspera, that line, we're coming down, 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 and again, that's going to be this one back here, this little line. It comes back down, and then you have your condyles. This is going to be your lateral condyle, right here, this one. This is going to be your medial condyle, and it's going to make contact with the condyle of this one. So this bottom bone is your tibia, the one with the larger portion and the, this little tiny slimmer one. This tibia has the same terms here. It has a medial condyle and a lateral condyle. So that's pretty easy, right? Medial condyle meets the medial condyle. Lateral condyle meets the lateral condyle. The tibia, right, as we progress further down, at the very bottom, there's this sharp little portion of the tibia, and that's called the medial malleolus. Medial malleolus. Think about where that means. It's medial malleolus means that it's going to be on the side where your big toe is. So it's going to be this tiny little groove at the bottom end of that bone. And you can even see it over here as well, medial malleolus on the side of the big toe. Then this little slim bone is going to be lateral. So if you're looking at someone's knees, this little bone is always going to be on the pinky side. And so it's going to be lateral, fibula. And as we progress here, more inferior, you have some terms. This one here is your calcaneus. This is going to be the heel of the foot. The heel of the foot, that's this one right here. And this one right above it that makes contact with the tibia is called the talus. Talus. Now, those two bones are considered tarsal bones. If you remember the relationship up here in the hand, these little tiny rock ones were called carpal bones. And so these little rock ones that make up the foot are actually called tarsal bones. On your list, since this is our biology intro class, you only have to know calcaneus and you have to know talus. But if you progress in this way, the rest of these, as far as you're concerned, are just considered tarsals. Now, as we progress downward here, just like above, we had metacarpals in the hand. Down here, we have metatarsals right here in the foot. So you have, starting from the big toe, metatarsal 1, metatarsal 2, metatarsal 3, 4, and 5. And just like above, where we had three phalanges on every finger, one, two, oops, sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, and again, repeats for these fingers, but remember the thumb is unique. It only has two phalanges, one and two. And so the same trend is seen below. These are all gonna be phalanges, and there are three here, just a little hard because the bone's a little worn out and the metal rod is sort of making it hard to see, but one, two, I'm sorry, one, two, three, one, two, three, it's a little broken there, but otherwise this will be our best example here, one more time, one, two, three phalanges, every single toe should have three phalanges, but our big toe only has one, two phalanges, one, and two. This one's a little nicer here. One, two, three phalanges. One, two, three phalanges. One, two, three phalanges. But again, big toe, one, two phalanges. And that's it for our femur bone all the way down to the phalanges.